Okay guys, we're gonna take a break from the chapter books and we're gonna do the Disgusting Critters books. Um, this is The Toad by Elise Scrabble. It says, greetings. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause for our friend, The Toad. Hi, how are ya? Applause. The toad is a type of frog, but with some special traits. Toads and frogs are both descended from a frog who lived millions of years ago in South America. Hola. There are more than 5,000 species of toads and frogs. Some live in water, some in trees, and some on the ground. Some live in your bed. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Toads are frogs that live on land and have drier skin, shorter legs, and stouter bodies. Some toads are really weird. The M.E. Mustache Toad, it grows a mustache made of spikes. The Venezuela Pebble Toad, it disguises itself as a pebble when threatened. The Suriname toad, her babies come out of her back. The cane toad, it can grow as big as 15 inches. In this book, we'll be talking about Bufo Bufo or the common toad. Hey ladies, I'm not here. Mama, Mama, who's the boss? Hi there. The toad's skin is very special. She drinks and breathes through it. She needs to keep her skin hydrated, so she lives where she has access to water. What? It's good for my skin. The toad eats mostly bugs, worms, and spiders. The toad is a pretty lazy hunter. She sits and waits for her prey to walk by her, and then she catches it with her long tongue. Sigh, maybe someday an ice cream cone will walk by. La 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 la. The toad sometimes sheds her skin to keep it healthy, and that's kind of gross. It means she gets rid of the old skin and then she eats it. Ew! Eating skin is part of a healthy diet. When the toad is threatened, she releases a toxin through her skin to ward off predators. It tastes disgusting. Some toad species put out a toxin so strong it can be deadly. Don't mess with me. We often call the bumps on the toad's back warts. But they're not actually warts. They're just bumps on her skin to help her blend in with the ground. I call them my beauty spots. The toad lays her eggs in the water as many as six thousand at a time. She lays them in very long strings in shallow water. The eggs face many dangers, including being eaten by hungry animals. Only a few lucky toads will make it. Good luck, guys.
Baby toads are called tadpoles. They're pretty cute, huh? No arms, no legs. The tadpoles are born and live underwater for 8 to 12 weeks until their legs have grown and their tails have disappeared. Then they move on to land where they can live up to 12 years. The toad is very useful to humans because she eats lots of pests that can be harmful to crops. Healthy toads are a sign of a healthy environment since they can only live in a clean natural habitat. The planet needs us! Yeah! <clears throat> Unfortunately, there are fewer and fewer toads around the earth. Some species are endangered and some are extinct. This could be because of pollution, the use of pesticides, global warming, or the destruction of their habitat, habitats by humans. This information is sad, so I won't make a joke here. Sniff, sniff. So remember to keep our planet clean. The toad is our friend and she needs your help. Hasta la vista.